hello. Oh, God. What is wrong with this? Okay, I put it in the wrong one again. How, how's this? That sounds much better, doesn't it? Okay, good. I'm eating a Banui. I thought we ate chocolate on Easter, not innocent animals. <laughs> um, full screen. The chocolate kind, Dumui. <laughs> yeah, I did get one of those. Oh boy, it looks like uh, the um, this is broken. I just have to reset it. Um, oh, the whole thing is broken. I I can't even use the tools inside the totally legitimate N sixty four. Here we go. So I hope everyone had a, a interesting Easter. I don't know what other word to use to describe it. Uh, delicious Easter? A resurrecty Easter. Yeah, I hope you guys had a resurrecty Easter. We love necromancy. Happy tra uh, Trans Day of Visibility, yes. What the hell? Oh, my sound's all messed up. You guys should be able to see it now. Yep. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, well, I guess you're the only one here, Sonya, but I think more people will show up fairly soon. People like this playthrough, it seems. I wonder if we'll see that person who was here yesterday. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to get right into the game. Hey, Timur, what's up? Yeah, Sonya's in the chat. I don't know if Sonya wants me to say what me and Sonya have been busy doing lately. Timur is your highest fan? Actually, Timur, I think... I think... I think I'm everyone's highest fan. <laughs> yeah, but um ch but um but um ch 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 <laughs> We're making pizza. Right. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll take that as a no. <laughs> We're making pizza. Well, Tamara, happy Easter. I hope they didn't make you work on Easter. That would be just evil. An unchristian. We're working on a secret project. Yes. <clears throat> A very secret project. Uh, it's a very, very exciting times, people, when projects actually get worked on.
I'm now qualified to work on projects too. I, I recently got my degree, right? Um, I don't even know if I mentioned that. I know what, you, what it is you guys are making. Candles. Yes, Timur, they're candles. Ah, that was the wrong song of time! Damn it! That's the correct one. But yeah, I got my degree. So I am now a professional in English, according to that piece of paper over there. Where's Pork7? <laughs> pork? <laughs> I don't know where Pork is. Yeah, where's Pork? I'm a professional English too. Watch this. Alright, Tamara, I'm watching. You better make it good. Mmm, Pork. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to have turkey on Easter, not pork. <laughs> we're having uh, we're having chicken uh, soup. Ah, you can make this jump as a Goron, and it's easier. But oops, can't I just? Uh... I can teleport to Snowhead now, right? Yeah, Mountain Village. Let's go. Uh, I just got a Discord notification of Timur calling out Pork for being late to the stream. Damn it, Pork, get in here! Okay, so... Uh... We, we need to do Snowhead as quickly as possible. So I'm actually going to do what Pork suggested. And I'm going to turn in my sword for the Razor Sword. So that I can get it in one cycle. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. T-Dog, yes. Wah. No, I saw, I saw that you're an English pro, Timmer, by typing a message. Yeah, we're calling you Pork now. You're Pork. So, so you're now a cut of, of pig meat. Congratulations. All right, I gotta melt the thing first. Okay, so we gotta get the... We gotta get the bottle of water, which is conveniently lo conveniently located right over he here, here, here. Where, where, over there, over there. Oh yeah, going polar bear swimming as a link. Just let me climb it. I know it's possible. I know it's possible to climb one of these. Come on, let me on. Guys. <laughs> there we go. Does the ice cold water damage you, or is Link immune to frostbite? Which game is that in? Because one of the Zelda games actually does that. I think it might be uh, Twilight Princess that, that makes you 
like take damage in cold water. No, no, it's not not Twilight Princess. At least not everywhere where it's cold. Breath of the Wild? Uh, yes, Breath of the Wild definitely does it. 100%. I remember that part. Can't step in water in cold climates. I tried to like get across a gap that way. It was it's extremely unforgiving. <laughs> really, really unforgiving. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, that's the one. That's the one I was thinking of. Breath of the Wild has temperature mechanic. Well, I know that if you fall in lava in most other Zelda games, you also take damage. <laughs> uh, and Tears of the Kingdom, yes, because it's... Basically, Tears of the Kingdom is the Majora's Mask to, Ocarina, to, to Breath of the Wild's Ocarina of Time, or to Ocarina of Time's Breath of the Wild. I don't know how to phrase that, but you know what I mean. I really hope that this isn't just what Zelda games are going to look like in the future. Because as great as Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are. We, we love them because they were refreshing and new for Zelda, I think. They reached a whole new audience that way. And I forgot to pick up... I forgot to... Back up we go! I hope they never stop making 2D Zeldas as well. Just like they haven't stopped making 2D Mario. Didn't I do this last time too? I went up there and then I didn't get the bottle of spring water and then I <laughs> jumped right off. Ugh. They did that remake? Uh, on the Switch. Oh, oh, what's was that? Link to the Link to Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Yeah, the Link's Awakening remake is pretty good. Looking, I didn't actually play it. I just am am going on aesthetics alone here. <laughs> I'm not a huge 2D Zelda fan, though. The last Zelda I played, besides this one, of course, um was another Game Boy one. The Game Boy Color one. Uh, seasons. And then I started Ages, and I was like, do I really want to play through, like, part two of basically the same game? The answer was no. Though I, I will play Ages eventually. I want to play all the Zelda games eventually. What'd you say about Link's Awakening? It had a remake recently? I love Link's Awakening, yes, sir. Yeah, we were, we were talking about the, the Claymation remake thingy. <laughs> Gabora! Huh? Oh, you've done me a great favor. What did I do? Did... What do you? What did, you, did I do, Timmer? Do you, are you one of those people who doesn't like remakes because a new generation will have a chance to experience the origin, the, the 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 magic? Or are you booing because of, of something I did? Oh, coffee! Wait, wait a minute! Did he just offer me coffee, please? To reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it'll lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So if you like your sh sword reforged, n I'll do it. You better not defend the Majora's Mask remake. Oh, you don't like seasons. Okay. Well, I don't know if I, I I can really say that that the Majora's Mask remake is b bad. D the only thing that I know it did bad was to change the clock, the the graphics of the clock. 
And that made people mad. Because everybody knows that that little graphic of the clock is what made the game really good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. That's what made the game really good. The, the clock graphics. I don't know. I played those remakes a little bit. They didn't seem much... They didn't seem any different. So yeah, this is... This is Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. No, they changed the whole game play and made everything not fun. They changed the whole gameplay? I didn't get that impression when I was gaming the play. So I don't know who you were who you've been listening to for that one. I know this much. Circle pad is way better than than controlling it with the original N64 stick. It assumes it was fun to begin with. Oh. This is one of those games where you do have fun. But it's not it's not the most fun game ever because it's it's just like you're supposed to take in the atmosphere, I guess, and the story. He's like saying the only good thing about Pork's favorite game is the flock. I heard Shadow the Hedgehog for GameCube is good. Yeah, T Dog, it sucks. Well, I don't think this game could suck if it keeps the story the same. Maybe it can be uh, not as good. But, you know, you just got to be careful. When a game is not as good, a lot of people like to immediately be like, oh, it's a 0 out of 10 now. T-Dog, what do you know about Shadow the Hedgehog? What do you mean? I streamed Shadow the Hedgehog with Sonya. We did a whole stream of it. I think it is hilarious. That's my feelings about it. Aren't they doing, like, a Shadow the Hedgehog thing? Yes, fetch me the coffee. I'll do it. It's pretty rough around the edges, gameplay-wise. Yeah, I wasn't the one playing it, of course. <laughs> Alright, now I really need to have Goron. I love having to collect 12 things, slash kill 10 12 things. <laughs> yeah, seriously. They, they could have come up with some fresh ideas for that game halfway through. Given the fact that you're supposed to play it seven times! Same engine as Heroes, and so it doesn't control very well. That's that's no good. All right, up to Snowhead we go. And I remember, if you just melt everything, uh, then things go back to normal for the Gorons. You don't need to help them in advance. You know what I mean? Oh, oh boy. Uh, I'm supposed to do that in one shot, aren't I? Maybe I can avoid it somehow. Is there somewhere I can stand where I don't take damage from this? Uh, the new shadow thing looks a bit fun. Actually looks like a Sonic gameplay and not com com completely dumb. Not completely dumb. I mean, you could ask for worse or you could you could you could you could, you could end up with worse rather. Oh, I made it. It's Snowhead. And there's a boulder floating in the air. Oh. 
Berserk. Because I gave the guy the sword, I can't unlock the thingy! Great! That rolling ball move looks like fun to control. Is that sarcasm? Sarcasm? Wait, that's the Sonata of Awakening. Now he'll never fall asleep. Or the Song of Awakening. So yeah, Sonata of Awakening. Now he'll never fall asleep. <laughs> no. Well, T-Dog, do the temple. That's the solution. Yeah, I know. I'll just have to not teleport back here. And uh, now I have to check. Wow, that, that background stuff looks right. That definitely looks right. Oh, it's boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. There it is. I want to be cool like Neo when I grow up. Everyone should be as uh, aspire to be as uh, cool as Sonya. Eat lots of green beans. Yes, that's the solution. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to fall over and get impaled by a piece of ice. Oh, he just crushed the entire smithy. They're outlawed under T-Dog rule. Just eat greens in general. They, they all have the same goodness factor. Okay, chat. We got to do this in, in one day and one night so we can be back in time for the sword. Which means that dumb, sna dumb snakes, dumb snakes are not allowed. The bean form is essential. Oh, God. It's Adrian in disguise. Snowhead Temple. I agree with Timmer. This is a little frustrating. Like, needlessly. I'm a meanie linguini. Gotta hit him with the booty bump attack. There we go. There's like a, there's, what is this? The begging pose? Like, please don't kill me. Okay, so you got frozen door, open door, locked door. Jaja, uh, ugh. Every game needs a booty bump attack. Well, you know, you're interested in making games, right? You can put as many booty bump attacks in those games as you want. I know I would. <laughs> Especially when it's big bosses, like big fat bosses with booty bump attacks. It makes perfect sense. All right, so the first fairy is in this room. Don't tell me this is an invisible wall. What do you mean, Timmer? I'm talking about, like, when the Asylum Demon does, like, a big attack on, on the ground. That's the Booty Blast attack. Or Booty Bump attack. You, 
You guys don't know anything about video games. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go down there. I gotta free that spirit. Or the, the, the fairy. You have to shoot it from the other side? I thought you had to come down here. Also, why did they make it open? What the hell? Hit him with the 999 damage booty blast. <laughs> okay. You're gonna see, you're gonna see. Lens of truth? Oh. Is it a lens thing? I'll try the lens. Walking over the SpaghettiOs floor, yeah. You, you will see, chat. There will be enemies in this very game that will booty blast me. Every time a choo-choo attacks, it's booty blast. It's booty bumping. I, heard, I slowed time down at the beginning of the cycle. Don't worry, Timmer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's completely closed. And look, there's another fairy over there. Wait, I can use this to cheat. This this bug, I can use it to cheat. Look, I can see the fairy. It's over there. Every time I see a choo-choo, I want to do a booty blast. Don't don't say that. Now now that will get you demonetized. What? T-Dog, the YouTube police, I don't care. They can haul me away to prison. I don't care. Thank God using items doesn't make you step forward a little bit like it does in Dark Souls sometimes. Okay, now that that's done. All right, no more in this room. I remember I have to go down there and hit a thing, but I think I gotta go through this door first. Um, there's also fairies in here. Probably a lot of them. Now I just have to look around a bit, and all the fairies will be revealed to me. Right? No? Alright. 
Oh, there's also a door. Do they? No, they can't lead to the same place. This one just goes up a floor. Uh, if they're not too far to be loaded in. Oh, okay. Oh, and a fairy came with me. I know that there's one in here. Yeah, look. And I just need to melt that, which means I need... Fire arrows. Come on, I just want to break some boxes. Did you read my work story about the guy asking what cash only means? No, I didn't. Uh, I can read that on stream if you want. Um, oh, it's a short one. A guy wanted lottery, and I said, that's cash only. And he said, what does cash only mean? I stopped in my tracks and looked up at him, and then he said it again. <laughs> yeah, I love it when people ask a question. And the answer to their question is is in the question that they asked. Like, what does cash only mean? It means only cash is allowed. Yes. So that must mean that if I go over here, then this one will take me down to the bottom floor, which I don't want to do yet. Can you talk backwards? No. Timur, I cannot talk backwards. Hey, wasn't this sound in the 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 ice cavern in in Ocarina? My cables were giving me trouble. But now I can actually move my hands without getting tangled in wires. You know, I was half, half expecting that to be a fairy. There is one in here. not hidden. I think it's just in a box or something. Like, up there. Alright. This room is just me preparing for a jump later in the temple. So, I'll just take this. Slide it over here. Easy. Oh, that fairy might actually be in a pot. Oh, this one is like a little dip. So, I guess I'll have to put it in the dip. I want to eat the square Majora's Mask Jawbreakers. Why? Square Jawbreakers sounds like a really bad idea. Sounds like it wouldn't be a Jawbreaker anymore, would it? It would be a... 
job here, sir. Can't do that with any of the other ones, can I? Can I take a stick? I don't even have sticks. If you get the hook shot before this, you can. Then it makes this temple really easy. I bet it does. I bet it just defeats the whole purpose of there being a temple. I forgot I was doing this swordless. All right. This was just a shortcut to the to the temple's beginning, I guess. Not too much of a shortcut, but it'll, it takes me to this door that's locked. We gotta booty blast this guy. And booty blast. Oh, the booty blast missed. Okay. One, two, three. Booty blast. No, no booty blast. Okay. One, one, two, one, one. Ow! One, two. Oh, he's dead. He didn't need booty blasting. Dear Pork, Majora's Mask expert, why can't Link, Link's high velocity flaming rock fist break that ice crystals? A woo? Yeah, a woo. Definitely a woo. Those freaking wolves. Because it's not warm, Timmer. Does that not look warm to you? Fairy in the box. I know there's a fairy in that box. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how to get it. Bomb? Oh, I gotta use a bomb, don't I? Listen. If the fist isn't hot, the booty blast has to be hot. That's hot by definition. Again, you say the solution after I've said it already. Do they have a lamp oil in this game? No. Only, only bomb. There's no rope either. Now there's one more in here. Uh, maybe it's in one of those stalactites. Or more likely, I gotta come back here after I have fire arrows. Oops. Twins, uh, Twilight Princess has uh, lamp oil, but no rope. That's right. Twilight Princess brought back lamp oil as uh, a Zelda item. All right. That was a waste of time. I'm going to fight this guy. With a pot. I missed. Well, that was... That was bad. Whatever. Screw off, man. I'm coming back here later. I like the sparkles. I think they're neat. Yeah, it's a good way of indicating that there's a fairy in this room. Gee, I wonder where the fairy is in this one. Let me let's see if I can get Cirque to say the solution. Do ground pound. It kills him fast. Whatever. You can just booty bump him. I finished my yearly Majora's Mask playthrough. Tamara, I can't tell if you're joking or not. 
Yearly Skyrim playthrough. Ah, oh, I see. Aha. See? That ice was literally frozen, and it still managed to break. So much for it having to be warm, right? The Civil War quest broke, and the Dawn Guard quest broke, so I stopped. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm doing some Skyrim gaming, too, uh, because I wanted to see what two-handed was like, because I realized that I've literally never done a playthrough with two-handed weapons. It's cool in VR because uh, the, ra the range actually makes a huge difference. You can sweep the sword around and catch people who are darting off to where you can't see. I knew, I know a high velocity flaming meteor could do the trick. Yes, Tamar, you will be vindicated by history when in the future a flaming meteor comes down and destroys the polar ice caps. I don't know. Wow, a small key. That good old small key in, in the room with the locked door trick. All right, there's another one in here. Don't really remember where it is. Did I take that mask off? No. I need to know, okay? I'm, I I, I want to do as little backtracking through this dungeon in particular as, as I can. I'm like Sokoloth looking at Raiden mask. I don't like it. <laughs> it's in the ceiling. Well, thanks for spoiling it. I would have figured that one out eventually. Oh, look. The ceiling has kind of an obvious break in it. T-Dog, you just, you just said you needed to know. Yeah, I need to know, as in I need to figure it out. Nah, I need you to tell me. Knowing can come from my own brain. Snake, take that mask off. Why? Sokolov doesn't like it. What? Is that a real thing if you start with the, the Raiden mask? Because I never did f uh, start with the Raiden mask. Uh, I did it like once and I'm so confused. But I never wore it. The Colonel scolds you for not taking it off after a while. He's like, Snake, there's no need to hide your identity. Rydeman. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's Major, Major Tom in that game. What? There's no need to hide your identity in enemy's territory. Yeah. I knew it. It's like, right, Snake, what the hell are you doing? Why are you still wearing that mask? We all we all can't see you. We can't see you, Snake. But Major, you can see me on the codex screen. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, jeez. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! I wasn't asking! I wasn't asking! Don't tell me! Don't tell me! I, I can get this. I can get this puzzle. Do I have to go press that one? What? 
Did you see the tuxedo codec call? I think so. Figured it out. That wasn't so bad. Wait a minute. Did I miss? I didn't miss anything in that room. Now we're near the top. I don't see fairies. Oh, wait. No, there's one right there. Yeah. Or is that one? Or is that just like... No, that, that's got to be one of them. Well, first I got to make this uh, this jump here. Thank God there's a basket here to catch you, right? Oh, boy. We only have one, one night. We only have the night to do this. Can I melt something over here? What is this? No. I don't know where the other, uh, the other flower is. Night and the next day. Well, I need time to get down to where that is, so I, I don't want to waste any time and, and yeah, don't want to waste any time. No, I shouldn't be here yet. I have no means of getting back up if I fall. I guess I'll just cross over there. Wait, that's the boss, uh, mini boss. Oh, here we go. How am I supposed to beat this guy? Time for some, some epic mini boss music. Yeah, that's right, get punched. Everyone says use your shield, but no one says look at the map for Zelda advice. Shoot him with your bow? I, I don't want to shoot him with my bow. I want to I want to show him the meaning of booty blast. Oh crap. Use your look at your map is pretty good. Look at your map saved me in the seasons playthrough. That was essential. But, I mean, look at your map is more self-evident than you even use your shield. Timmer, you're saying use your bow, use your bow. And I'm already picking up the fire arrows after having beat him. A lot of things can be solved with Deku Nuts. Oh. Uh, how they have more utility than I thought. Dude, there's a 15 second delay. Yeah, but you're there thinking that I can't beat him without it. Uh, you ye of little faith.
You were just talking about Deku nuts. <laughs> so I'm solving my failing marriage. <laughs> Deku nuts. Spice it up in the bedroom with Deku nuts. If you use Deku Nut on Meg in the Force Temple, her copies disappear. Oh my god. You don't even need to do that to beat her easily, though. Also, don't feed Ganon too much food. I gave him a whole egg as a treat. And he didn't finish it, but still, he already ate. No, but it's a neat little thing. Yeah. That's something you need to put in your, your quality of life or, or, or little, little detail video that you're totally going to make. You got a girl's number, but you don't want to be the first to send a message. Then why did you ask? You could have given her your number. Did she have your number? Because if she doesn't have your number, then she's waiting for you. Oh, come on! I was holding forward dead on there. We talked a little yesterday. Oh, she asked me for my... Okay, then you, you can probably wait. It's probably fine. Timmer, use a Deku nut on the number. Yeah, you'll be surprised at what happens, Timmer. Rupees? I don't need rupees. I need arrows, please. Deku nuts and bio. Oh, please! Oh, come on, he grabbed it. I saw him grab it. It's a replay. I used Deku nuts on the number, and now I'm the governor of Rhode Island. Henry, you have to make pot legal in Rhode Island. I don't even know if it's illegal. <laughs> All right, Tamara, sounds good. Maybe it just didn't work out. That, yeah, that's, that's something that happens. Not a reflection on you, though. I'm going to be given, like, positivity. Life, but... Okay, so I'm out of magic. Back in school, we used Deku scrub as an insult. That's racist, Timmer. You keep spamming it, and it won't drain your magic. Oh, I, I, I knew that. That's what I did. If you do it like that, it doesn't drain your magic, and you can you can get a glimpse at what, what you're missing. T Dog, your magic meter. Eat 15 second delay, Timmer. 15 second delay. Alright, so I, I I do need magic for uh, the arrows. I don't even know if I have enough magic. I don't have arrows, that's for sure. Look at those spikes that people put on signs to keep birds off. Uh, that people. Why would you keep a bird off a sign? It's not doing anything on the sign. Well, I can't do anything here yet. Uh, even if I melt this and go up, 
I won't be able to progress because I need to bring... I need to bring this giant tower up. So I need to figure out how to do that. Okay. Uh, um, first of all... I'm going to get a little arrow and magic power. If indeed there is such a thing here. All right, there's a magic power. Americans hate birds. Is that why they call one of the cutest birds the rat with wings? God, stop spamming stuff. I, I, I don't want to have to close this off and mute the stream. Or mute, mute the, the channel. I posted the spikes. Well, I think the spikes are mean. I forgot he can't jump for shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. T Dog, see if you miss is making me tummy hurt. What? Me missing is making your tummy hurt. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll try not to miss next time. Wait a minute, I can line two of them up. T Dog, it's like when people played Link's Away. Terra, I have no clue what you're talking about! All this could have been avoided by buying a blue potion. You mean having to break pots? Ooh, big deal. Oh no, I'm out of magic. If only I had bought a green potion that will help me through this situation. Whatever will I do without a green potion? It's my goddamn aim that's the problem. D Dog's bad day. What do you mean? I'm not doing that badly. I'm just missing a bunch. Maybe if I kind of stood in the middle, that would, that would be easier.
first try. Arrows on down C. Based? Oh, because it's like drawing back a bowstring, I guess. Well, good thing I did that. Of course, arrow on down C, because it's like pulling a draw a, a arrow string back. T Dog, talk to us about drugs. Cameron, don't you think I do that enough on this channel? I'm sure all you gotta do is wait five minutes and I'll be talking about it anyway. <laughs> So, have you guys ever tried hash? I'm, I'm okay, okay. I'm kidding. Timmer. <laughs> drugs are not cool. Dr drugs are stay in school. That's right. <laughs> I smoke Deku sticks. N now I'm shitting Deku bricks. <laughs> Kenshi reference. Uh, Timmer, please. That's not a Kenshi reference. That's an ancient India reference. <laughs> it, that's an ancient preparation of weed. Hash is. Back in the day, when you harvested weed uh, from nature, it would have a really low uh, THC. So, ancient peoples, and I don't know how ancient, or even if they are considered technically ancient, but in, in the past, marijuana plants had to be processed into hash uh, in order for it to be very potent at all. Because otherwise it would be like 4% THC in, in the wild cannabis that hasn't been cultivated. Where does ancient begin? I believe there's a cutoff. I don't know what that cutoff is exactly. Well, I guess that works. And where does it end? Maybe someone can look that up. I like history lessons with T-Dog. Yeah, you, you got... You asked for drug talk. You got, um... Dr drug education. T-Dog, educate us more. Um... T-Dog does a better job than American public schools. It's pretty low bu Whatever, I'm pretty sure I need to be down here. Because there's a, there's a button. Yeah, I missed this little guy. Straight fairy number nine. Can't talk about Canadian schools. I never went to school in Canada. But it's only slightly better, Timmer. And, and I do mean slightly. There, there's less propaganda, but there's also different propaganda, which is the same problem. Like, Tamara, were, were you ever taught that the pilgrims lived in peace and harmony with the native peoples of America? Were you ever taught that in schools? Were, were you ever taught... Oh, I'm, I'm referencing, like, 
uh, outdated textbooks that are still in use today that, like, nobody ever bothered to correct. Where, like, uh, the, the textbook that has a, it has a, um, a song that the African Americans used to sing in the past. That's right. It's a working song for when they were working for the the settlers. And it's called I'm Picking Cotton All Day. It was like a, it was a ridiculous textbook that I saw from like the, 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 it was like the 80s or something. And it's like, yes, yes, the workers on the plantations would sing the working song. I'm picking cotton all day and it's making my fingers fall off. We talked about many, many wars. Yeah, that's that's to be expected. Yeah. Um I really hope that modern textbooks aren't aren't teaching kids that that slavery didn't happen. So how many of these am I supposed to punch? We talked about Vietnam and how America just gave up. I mean, I kind of had no business being there in the first place. If we're going to be honest about it, Timur. T Dog, I talked to a teacher. A bunch of the kids these days are awful. Yeah, kids don't have. I mean, they grow up different, right? You're you're seeing more and more iPad kids go to school, and and they just don't know how to act like like a like a decent human being. It's really sad. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing about it. Don't worry. Well, me neither. I'm not saying nothing about it. Totally. Oh wait, if I can just make that. They're breaking windows for getting their phones taken. Exactly, because they, they've they grown up not knowing anything else. It's not their fault. Now, I'm not going to say it's, it's all their parents' fault. Because modern life is extremely stressful. But it is the parents' fault for deciding to have a kid and then saying, Yeah, I'm just going to let the iPad raise it. I used the term iPad kid before, and a kid said that's an offensive slur, and I had to remind myself. No, Timmer, it's not an offensive slur, because iPad kids are not a historically oppressed group. They just, I mean, that kid probably didn't know what a, what, what, what a slur has to be. It's just a kid. Yeah, it's just a kid. Like, he doesn't know what a slur is, really. He can't know what a slur is, really, if that's what he thinks a slur is. I need to get that one uh, fairy that was down there somewhere. There it is. Do you think I could make that jump? Surely that's what they intend for me to do. To jump down there. There's Deku Flower up the stairs. Oh, really? Okay. Eat the granola bar walls. I don't want to I don't want to ruin my appetite by eating the walls, Timmer. I mean, times are getting harder for people to make a living, which especially impacts raising kids. Yeah, the problem is nobody bothered to tell new parents that. And then when they realized that the only way they could raise their kid was to work two jobs and, and just let the iPad raise them, then the mistake was having kids in the first place, wasn't it? Well, I guess that's a personal decision that everyone has to weigh. 
but like iPad parenting is it's just not the way. So now I just gotta wait and slowly descend un until I reach um until I reach that that little gap in the wall. My mom always uh, gets mad when I say I won't ever be able to afford kids because I wasn't born rich. What? Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of the, the older adults um, still think that it, it's possible to make a living wage. This is not the intended way, I don't think, but it's the safe way. Yes, it is the safe way. Well, my opinion on it is, uh, you know, you you have you would have to make sure that you can afford food and time to raise your kids before you have a kid. She tells me to move out, and her rent was three hundred a month. Yeah, she she should up your rent to twenty five hundred dollars a month, and then it will be accurate. Rent a two-room apartment is is uh, $1,200. This is why I'm building my own house. Because in this day and age, it's easier to buy a plot of land and the materials to build a house than it is to buy a house. It's only $55,000 to buy a, a nice plot of land. And I, I have a bunch of, like ins to people who uh let's say no contractors and suppliers and 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 builders and, and electricians and stuff jesus christ yeah fifty five thousand. i wish i could make that kind of money well, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not going to, like, slam $55,000 under the counter and say, I'm, ma I'm making a purchase on this land. I'm going to have to take out a loan for it eventually, but it's just way more attainable than even renting, it, renting an apartment. Like, seriously. I think he owns a company for it. Oh, good for your uncle. He's probably living in a house. He spent $100,000 on total, you know, because he built it himself. I'd love to live out in the middle of nowhere, but Amazon owns all the land around here. Timmer, no matter how many Amazons there are, there will always be land for sale. It might just be like a five minute drive or a 15 minute drive away. All right, how many fairies are there? It tells you, doesn't it? 15. So I have to find five fairies. Looks like there's some rooms I haven't been to. Five fairies and the boss key. So let's let's do that now, the boss key. Because it's right there. Do you, do you remember when Jeff Bezos tried to buy a bridge? To, to to demolish it so that he could get his yacht under the bridge and he was like yeah I'm, I'm buying this bridge and he like dictated to the town that he was buying the bridge and they didn't let him I don't think they let him. he assumed that they they were just gonna let him because he was Amazon but they didn't let him congratulations that one mayor in Italy. A nearest major city, major corporation has bought up all the nearby land. Well, yeah, Timur. <laughs> Living in the city is now, like, a huge grift. It's where all the expensive 
like apartments and houses are. If you want to live cheaply, you're going to have to leave that city and commute into it. Oh, based. Screw that guy. Yeah, seriously. Doesn't matter who you are. If you try and buy, like, an, an ancient bridge from a quaint little Italian town just for your super yacht... Yeah, screw you, dude. He's, yeah, that's, that's out of touch behavior. I'm better off moving to Louisiana. You're probably right. But yeah, Tamara, if you want affordable housing, you might want to consider, uh, like, a, a, a smaller town nearby the big city so that you can still, like, drive... 45 minutes or an hour to, to get all the services that you want. But I mean, some people need to leave, live near the city because their job's there and whatnot. Well. I am in a smaller town nearby a city. Well, I think that that counts as a, a what is it? Was it called? The district? No. Um, well, you know, you have to move further away than that, is what I'm saying. I guess I'm just more accustomed to things being spread out. It's an hour away. What? And Amazon still owns it? I hate that going out almost anywhere requires a car. Well, that may be true. But at least you don't live in a city where it's literally impossible to drive with that car. And you need that car. Because here, at least, you, at least there's room. At least there's not traffic jams that take several hours to clear. And, you know... It's a small town, so you don't need to drive very far. I don't mind driving, but people down here are extremely aggressive drivers. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Are there any more fairies in this big central room? No. Okay, so I got the boss key. So I just have to go down floor after floor until I find that one room that... Oh, well, what's in there? How do I find that key? This used to be a small town, but then Amazon and stuff moved in and started developing it. Then you need to leave. You need to leave. Because that is an Amazon town now. And it's too late. Maybe maybe some of these chests on the first floor. All the mom and pop places got shut down and turned into chain restaurants and Walmart bought all the demolished, all the mom and pop stores. Yeah, you need to leave. It <laughs> eh, sounds like a terrible place you're living in, Tim. A terrible, terrible place. No offense, of course. Timmer, you're in a dystopian town. Move. Yeah, any town that Amazon owns is probably a really bad place to live. I'm a southerner, I'm not taking offense. All right. Southerners have that that old anti establishment streak, right? Y'all never like it when the the corporations, you know, come into your town. I mean, it almost sounds like a plot from like a western, you know? Small town Everyone's happy. And then the railroad moves in. And suddenly there's oil development. And everything smells bad. T-Dog, I'm not a southerner. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I have to go there. Oh, I see. It's all south to me, Timmer.
It all works out to be south to me. <laughs> T Dog. Come on, that was funny. These assholes. I hit him with a booty blast. Whoops. Uh, hello, Dragon Cake. I'm just a little guy. Don't attack me. Owie! Hello, Dragon Cake. I, I already said that, actually. actually. Whoops. <laughs> I love how the booty blast shakes the screen. Yeah. Like, even if it doesn't make contact, it still, like, shakes your frame. You're like, oh, oh my god. Dragon Cake has it worse than me. Does Dragon Cake also live in an Amazon town, or is it, like, an Apple town? The sheer gravity of it, yeah. She lives in a major, major city. I do have an Apple store nearby. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What's that? Suspicious. How do I have it worse than Timur? Well, Timur doesn't live in a big city. He just lives in an Amazon-controlled town. Dragon Cake lives in the suburbs. It's, it's marginally more tolerable in the suburbs. He stereotypes all New Yorkers as city people. Yeah, Timur, New York City is so big that, like, half the people there... Or, or a majority of people there don't even live in New York City. If you catch my drift. I don't know. I don't know anything about New York. But they have, like, boroughs and, and, and parts that... Wait a minute. Why is there a locked door? You don't need... The key to get in here. Oh well. Like Staten Island isn't very dense as a as a an area, and yet it's still like New York City question mark? I don't know, it's confusing. It's confusing to me. Oh god! We don't have a lot of time. I need I just need two more. So we're going down to floor one, where there's some chests that I missed. Alright, this is floor two. It's a shortcut, I guess. And also necessary to get the fairies. I hope things are not going to become unaccessible. Did you get the lava chest? Yes, I did. The, the the fairy mask is not, you know, tingling. It's not t twinkling. Oh, I remember. There's like a couple of, of block rooms and stuff. Such as th this one, I think. No. Oh, crap. Can I not get over there? Oh, surely I can. Maybe if I go through here. 100 rupees gone. No, it's not too late, Timmer. It's not too late. I'm in the basement. I gotta go up one. 
Yeah, yeah, this room can get me there. I just need to play the best Zelda of my life. You're almost done. You got plenty of time. Yeah, I know, but who knows how long I'm going to be looking for these damned fairies. All right, now I'm on this side. Uh, does that get me any closer to where I need to be? Because I can, I can go out on the other side, too, I think. Oh, God, I never found the compass. No, I did find the compass. What am I saying? Right, it's this room, but I have to get to this room from this room? Yes, this room. And then into th this room. No, this room. Yes! Okay. Remember to go back to Goron City. I will go on back to Goron City. I need to get the powder keg and stuff anyway. So I'll be in the area. No, get away from me. I don't want to die. Not here. That was a little, little bit tense. Oh no! Sliding block puzzle! I happen to know that if you put the block where it was just then and jump, you can actually get to that other platform. But I want this chest, I need it. One more! I also can't forget to to, to get the fairy's boon. And then jumping against this wall should do it. Yeah, okay. And now... A hop, a skip, and flying pots! And we have the last fairy. Boss time. We go up now to the tippy top. Link! Link! Is I swear to God, it's going to take me hours to beat the boss of this stage. In-game hours, of course. For some reason, I have trouble with this boss. So, fair warning. Thank you. 
Did I go up just then? Yes. Okay, good. So I I completed the dungeon and I didn't grab one of the keys. I didn't know that was impossible. And I got all the fairies too. Crazy. Anyway, there's nothing I'm forgetting, right? I'm just beating the boss now. L let's do it. Well, he's, he seems to be frozen, so I guess there's no boss fight after all. We'll just let him be frozen for eternity. So this guy's a robot. Straight up mechanical bull. Why? Got mine, got! Alright, let's get his ass. Most unique Zelda boss fight? Maybe. You you still need time to do the Goron race before the dawn of the final day. I can do the Goron race in one try. It's this boss fight that's gonna give me problems. I hate this boss fight sometimes. Sometimes it's really cool. Just wait until he starts throwing bombs and stuff. Ah! And spikes. This spike just fell on him and he deleted it. Did you see that? Oh, come on. How did that hit me? He's almost dead. He should be waiting for me now. No? He hasn't done his attack where he waits for me and then he zaps me. I guess because I haven't fallen too far behind yet. Now he's smoking. All right, so first thing we do when when I get out of this boss fight uh, is to bring the powder keg to the place, blow it up, go grab the razor sword, go back and do the race, get the gold shit, and then the razor sword before the dawn, the, the dawn of the final day. dead. This fight's so good, they copied it in Dark Souls 2. I don't know if they copied it. The Executioner's Chariot, you, you're not rolling after him. You just have to pull a lever and he, he kills himself. <laughs> or his horse kills himself, anyway. Well inspired, then. Yeah. And then, the, and then that chariot boss inspired the really annoying chariots in Elden Ring uh, Hero Graves. Anyway, I freed Got the Innocent Spirit. Was this a really long stream? Eh, it wasn't too long, I guess. Not longer than normal. But we still have things to do. Well, what exactly are all of you?
Guardians. So you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples, but why are the protective gods corrupted? No, wait, are you listening to me? Hey, wait! Bye. Does this cutscene still play if you fr un unfreeze him? Or does he just refreeze? Giant nose man. He's like, oh, I'm so freezing. And the other guy's like, wait, no, you're not freezing. And he's like, no, I'm not freezing. <laughs> yeah, he refreezes. Okay. And now there's wasps and snowhead. And now we get every single frog and do the Don Gar- No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> there he is, though. I guess I'll talk to him real quick, just so you guys see what he says. He's like, please, please bring my troop here. I have been waiting for you, Don Garo. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Garo, the long winter has ended and the spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Dumbass forgot he was alone. Fortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was so too long. They must not have realized that the spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Garo has come for us too. What a pity. Where in the world could the other members be? Uh, it spawned me right outside here, so I'll just go in. Garo Garo, yeah. Razor Sword acquired. N yeah, I'm gonna use it a hundred a hundred times, but we're not done yet. It's time to get gold dust, baby. In Japanese, it's called Feather Sword. Fun fact. Well, that makes sense. It, it really, it does. <laughs> I guess it's it's so sharp that it could slice a feather effortlessly or something. I don't know. All right, time to take a little detour into Goron Village. That sign. I remember going back to check multiple times because I'm sure it says White Wolfos at first. Doesn't it? I thought it did. Gone. He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, Darmani, you've been waiting. I've been waiting impatiently for you. I have been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I heard that you, the one whom I thought to be dead, Sealed off the blizzard that was blowing in from Snowhead. Thanks to you, spring has come to Goron Village. Everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron hero of all? That's Darmani. Now that I, now that I remember it, yes, I, I remember this. I remember this scene. After unfreezing the mountain, it seems to change to wild Wolfos somehow. Oh, because they changed from white to white to the, 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 the snow variant. Why would they even bother changing such a tiny little detail whatever he, they're giving us the praise so much praise my son got better immediately he went to see the, the goron races all right bye 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 
that's another little thing for your details video, Cirque. Why is it that Link is the only one that can climb shit in this game? I'm the- did he just fart? I'm the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Uh, yes. Uh, he's gonna approve me as a powder keg carrier. Oh boy, I can't waste to get licensed to carry powder kegs. And if I die, then I guess I won't get licensed. Gotta love the, the physics. The, the, like, weirdly good physics on that rope. How long did it take them to figure that out, I wonder? How many times have you beaten this game? Actually, only about twice in my whole life. But I used to just play it a lot as a kid. W without even a goal, I just played it. Doing shit. Because you can just go back in time and do quests again. Do temples again. Do bosses again. It's all great fun. But I only ever beat it like twice. Once when I was a kid and once like lately couple of years ago, a few years ago. Ah, Darmani. Now that it's nice and warm out, I'm much, much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I, s I won't be selfish and cry. So, now that the spring has come, the Goron races should be starting soon. But, but this rock is in the way, so I can't get in to see the race. The spring's just started too. I was so excited. There's nothing I can do. I hate it. I hate it. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see the race. Jesus Christ, kid. Just wait a second, okay? Here, I'll even speed it up for you. You did it. Thanks a lot. I'm going right in. I'll, I'll be waiting for you, so you have to come see it. iPad kid. <laughs> <laughs> he has definite iPad kid energy. That's for sure. All right, going on race time. This is not easy, but I, I I've had a lot of practice, so let's 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 race. So here's a little trick. Doesn't get you very much of an edge, but it doesn't count as a, a false start until you actually cross the the starting line. So you can edge forward a little bit and just start ahead of everyone else. This minigame is so much fun and also maddening at the same time. Yeah, because if you touch other Gorons, it's, it's over. Like, just like that. And they don't get slowed down by the same factor that I do. They go, they just go along their, their merry way. Yeah, these guys rubber band like crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. They made Al Numa play this again in like 2023. Is he the one who does who is responsible? Oh my god, you didn't even need that. You didn't even need that magic power. This is screwed. I'm screwed. I just have to stay on the inside track. I, I still have a, a, a chance. No! I, 
I know I could see where they were. What was that? Oh, right. I have to turn in the stray fairies. Well, don't worry. Uh, th that's not time sensitive. This is time sensitive. Is it bad that I absolutely love this minigame, though? It's fun. It's fun. But it really requires several tries. Okay. <laughs> they didn't make it easy. I'll, I'll give you that. It would be a lot easier with that increased magic bar. I just have to take the inside track whenever possible, like a real race where they don't pay attention to tracks. How did I get my direction reversed midair? That doesn't even make sense. I might as well just not even bother at this point. I just can't seem to make it in time. Oh, come on! I got the bottle of gold dust. Okay.
Let's go. And then we're going back both to get the fairies and to unlock the thing that lets you warp there. But first, we got to give this to this guy. Ah, face of customs with coffee. Hmm, hey now. That's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged to the razor sword. Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Why do I have to supply the gold dust? Oh, wait. It's free. I forgot. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality. Why, even if I use this to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. All right, just for you, I'll do this for free. But don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. All right, back up to Snowhead. Let's go. Hey, there's no rolling boulders in the more. I don't know if you could hear that forehead slap. Whatever, I'm gonna talk to this guy since I came up here already. Whatever, I'm not here to get that thing anyway. I just want I just want the fairies. Darmani, what in the world have I been doing this whole time? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look around Snowhead to figure out why spring wasn't coming. What am I doing sitting in a place like this? There should be many big Gorons. Did he eat the others? That's why he's big. He ate everyone else. <laughs> oh, wise young one. I am the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. Yeah, I could have used that for the race. Not necessary, though. Your magic power is enhanced. Now we never have to come back to Snowhead. So, I guess we don't need to unlock that thing after all. There's only one big Oron. <laughs> So, uh, tomorrow morning, huh?
I did it with a lot of time to spare, actually. I did not expect to be able to do that. This is the part where it'd be really bad if the emulator, emulator crashed, huh? Don't say that! <laughs> I just need to grab the sword, deposit my money, and fly back to town to... Uh, or not, I don't have to fly back to town. Well, I do have to fly back to town. Fly back to town, deposit my money, and then play the Song of Time. Oh, right. Uh, they do cutlery? You guys do cutlery? I kept you waiting, but it's done. See? The Gilded Sword. The best sword in the game. Well, not the best sword. The fairy sword, I guess, is best. But whatever. <laughs> we got rid of it for you. My guy, you sold that shit? I want a Zubora brand fork. Yeah, the you cutlery. Check this shit out. Look at that. That's a cool ass sword. All right, back we go. We only do swords and cutlery. There's a hidden grotto that got unlocked from doing that, doing the, uh, the melt. But I'm not gonna do it. It's acceptable to use state safe states just in case. Well, it's never crashed yet. It hasn't crashed yet. Uh, so I, I don't see a pressing need. Done. I guess there's still time for it to crash. Well, we did it all. We got the sword, we got the fairies. We, we didn't get that one owl statue, but it's okay. Well, that'll be it for the stream, folks. I promised you Snowhead, and Snowhead is what you got. So, yeah. That was that was fun. Was fun times. Wasn't nearly as frustrating as I thought it was going to be. I guess because I've done it so many times that I just, I just know how to avoid the frustration for the most part. Anyway, I, I I'm gonna uh, go back, go to uh, to be continued. Yep, there we go. Yep, all right. Um, and then I guess I'll just close that since it's already saved. Okay, chat. Uh, thanks for showing up. I'm gonna go see. Uh, what smells so good? I think it's chicken soup. Anyway, uh, next time, hopefully I'll feel up to, or not, well, yeah, feel up to and are not too busy to stream on Wednesday, because I was too busy on last Wednesday, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming all. Buh bye bye And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.